We saw the babies at another park and they were so cute. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, damn bitch. A wombat, a common wombat. We have three types in Australia. The common wombat are the southern and northern hairy nosed wombats. Okay? Uh, the southern and northern are on the endangered list, but uh, the common wombat is quite high in numbers. Now, she's a marsupial, a distant relation to the koala. Um, she has a reverse pouch the same as the koala. Um, kangaroos' pouches open here and go down. Koalas and wombats and Tasmanian devil open at the bottom and come upward. Okay? Um, so, she's a marsupial. Uh, she's very territorial. She doesn't like anything in her area. <laughs> Normally she would burrow underground. They have quite an extensive burrowing system. Um, so she'd burrow underground and have a lot of tunnels and chambers and air holes. Okay? We can't let her do that because um, we lose her. So she can't burrow out from here because we have mesh underneath the sand. So she, she lives in um, a barrel. Now, uh, she's a vegetarian. She eats grasses, roots, bark, mushrooms, that sort of vegetation. Uh, they're very territorial and they don't like anything in the state. Thank you. No, we don't like her out. <laughs> She'll just stay there. Um, they can run but between 30 and 40 kilometres an hour over a short distance. So if they don't like anything in their area, they'll chase it out. So if you have one chasing you, climb a tree. Okay, she doesn't climb trees. All right. And you couldn't outrun her. She's very quick. Her fur is quite coarse and open, so that when she digs underground, the dirt will fall out and won't cause problems for her. Different to like the kangaroos, that are very soft, and uh, the koalas. She has very sharp teeth, um, so if she bites you, she'll take a chunk out of you, okay? But she won't eat you. Right. So, um, she doesn't swallow. Pardon? She won't swallow. No, she won't swallow. She'll spit you out, actually. Um, so her um, food is grasses, roots, bark, mushrooms, that sort of vegetation, okay? We feed the corn, sweet potato, um, carrots, broccoli, that, that sort of food. Plus, right, plus um, um, pellets that are you know, sort of compacted as well. You're right. Sorry, sorry. You're right. Now, wombats um, have a very big plate on their rump area, okay? Um, and it's about two to three inches thick, and they use that as a defense mechanism. What she'd do if a dingo was threatening her, she'd run to the burrow and put her bottom to the front of the burrow and a dingo couldn't penetrate that plate. It's like a piece of hard board. And it's actually on a pivot. So if the dingo got its head between her back and the top of the burrow, she can flip the plate and put about 80 pounds of pressure to crush the dingo's head. So it's a very good defence mechanism for her. Um, the one problem we have with wombats is they get killed at the night time by cars and um, that plate does a lot of damage to cars, okay? And male wombats can get up to about um, 40, 45 kilos. She weighs about 35 kilos, so they can get quite, quite large. Um, the reason we got her, um, her mum was killed by a car and someone stopped to check the pouch and she was still alive in the pouch. That's, that's how we got her. So she's 23 years of age um, and her lifespan is 20 years. So we're lucky to still have her. 
and what say to that plate, the pouch is underneath that plate. So that protected her when her mum got killed. Does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask? So sorry we don't get her out anymore. We used to. Um, and you could, she used to sit on the chair with the keeper and you could pat her and take photos. But she was getting very tired, so we retired her about two years ago.